you. Welcome, Kate Nielsen. This is a rather unorthodox conversation today, as um, Greater Sydney is in lockdown. We're um, managing to not break any rules, but be able to go ahead with our video of this opening of the exhibition. So we're sitting outside in the gallery garden, and the exhibition opens today, Saturday, and it'll run through until the end of the month. So again, welcome, and Kate, you must be wondering what you have to do to get an opening with real people. <laughs> <laughs> I know, third one in, no people. <laughs> So look, we, we will have an exhibition one day where we're able to open the doors, but unfortunately we can't do it. So we'll have a little chat. We're unbelievably you know, on a very windy day today, so we're struggling with being able to hold paintings and pictures and, and get started. But um, specifically I wanted to talk today about the composition of your pictures, mm -hmm. because I think it's all about the composition. There are a lot of still life paintings around at the moment. And I mean, they're all very beautiful, but there's just something about yours that, that sets the work apart. Obviously pattern and color, which really is always outstanding. That idea that you can bring the outside inside and vice versa, you're very, very good there with the window openings and the doors thrown open. But surely you don't just walk into a, to a someone's home and say oh look at that it's just perfect um actually that's exactly what I do to be honest and as you were talking then I was just thinking about this work right here because Gorgeous. this is painted from a friend's house in Randwick and I literally walked in and saw this and thought oh my gosh I've got to paint it and I always start my work thinking about composition because it's, fu it's funny that you mention it because that's my first thing that I think of every time I like to think about how it's going to sit on the canvas and frame it up and then I kind of fill it with with information from mm -hmm. wherever I am. Mm -hmm. And for this particular one, what struck me when I walked in was this bench top of hers with a teapot sitting on it broke up the composition into these different parts and I just love how you've got a top part with an outdoor view mm. and a table and, and then a domestic scene down the bottom and it's kind of linked by this teapot here so I sort of yeah. love that play with composition. That is interesting because that wasn't what I, I actually would not have looked at it in that that light. I, I tend to think more of just the placement of the, the apples in a bowl or the placement of a bowl on a patterned tablecloth. Ah, yes. Does that, is that something that you think up yourself? Yes, I do. I sometimes see something and think that would look fabulous in a painting if it had this pattern uh -huh. tablecloth under it and then That's that right. as well. Yeah. Or sometimes, like right now, I see patterns on patterns and I think, oh, I just want to paint it. So it kind of happens both ways, I guess. Well, actually, that is interesting because I think it is those patterns that draw people to your work. And, and it is interesting that it's the patterns that you see that you bring out. And today I tried to recreate one of you. Well, I tried to well. find a vase <laughs> that looked like your vase. <laughs> I didn't have any proteas, but the wattle was flowering in the garden. So I, it's my little attempt, and we might have to hold this when the next gust of wind comes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's probably going to blow over. But well, um, this is exactly something that I would notice or, or set up. And, and I'm glad you did because I did it specifically. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. I love it. But also the whole idea of patterns on patterns has also come from artists that I'm obviously very heavily influenced by. So people like Matisse oh, and very much Bulliard so. and yeah. there's a whole range of people. Bonnard. I'm so heavily influenced by. So that's also sometimes how it starts. Well, that's enlightening because <laughs> I I do talk a lot about the patterning in your work and um, it's just one of those things that um, the interaction it, again between light and inside and outside and that again is very appealing to people we find so many people want that picture with the, the orange tree outside yeah. the window I mean we've all got fruit trees in the backyard so we won't, won't talk for too long we're very lucky with the wind at the moment yes. it seems to have subsided yes. I was there was just one little thing I was just going to say how are you managing with lockdowns children business work I mean it's just the most it's unbelievable situation having said that we're in incredibly busy absolutely oh yeah there's no shortage of being busy <laughs> that's for sure with two young children and I'm still teaching at um, my school John Collett school um, because there's obviously children there so 
that's something else but I mean that's sort of a, a good and a bad thing because it's a bit strange but it's also nice to break the week up mm. with but mm. I mean I'm very busy but there's just that sort of feeling of anxiety attached to everything oh you no, do when you're in I lockdown know. isn't there yeah, yes yeah. and there's not as much time to paint because obviously I need to be with my children and they're going bonkers. I'm sure everybody's children are going bonkers. <laughs> but yeah. um, I can't wait for it to end, to be honest. Yeah. But I feel very fortunate that I can still carry on with what I do during a lockdown. Well, wonderful, because we've already sold half your exhibition. And we haven't opened yet. So that's a wonderful thing. And thank you to everyone that's, honestly, the response has been phenomenal for most of our exhibitions this year. But particularly Rachel's before yours and the, and yours it's just been absolutely fabulous so thank you we still have paintings left so we're going to go inside now we're going to put our masks on uh, go inside and do a walk around wonderful. and talk about some of the work wonderful thank, thank you. you thank you so much